So here's the deal. You want me to help you, Bar, so you don't lose money anymore? Yes, I do. Would you like me to help you get your 300,000 back? I certainly would. Would you like me to make you perceive as less of an asshole? I tell you here and now, John, there's not one that ever had the balls to come and say it to me face. I did. Max might be the worst user of social media I maybe have ever seen. Managing your reputation on social media means that you take all negative messaging and you turn it positive. Not him. I gotta show you what Max posted. Do you have any problems or issues with my bar? Listen, you If you want to donate, then I'll give you. If not, then shut the up. Now, he put that online for all to see. Wow. In a small town, you're gonna lose on social media like this. It's over. And Max has some other inappropriate responses to reviews as well. Look at this. He takes all social media messaging and turns it negative himself. So guys, here's what I did. The people that you just saw on social media that Max has been insulting, I reached out to them and I asked them to get a bunch of friends together to come to this bar. Max doesn't have a history of containing his temper on social media. Tonight, I want to put Max under stress and let's see if he can control his temper. We haven't gotten our drinks yet. Okay, what was your drinks? I got a cranberry juice and, <laughs> and a cocktail. I don't want any more. He's comping everybody because they're failing. Did you guys get everything that you ordered? The food, the nachos are burned. I would love to bring you another nachos. Okay. Okay. Anything else that I can do to make you happy? When you have a problem at a table, that's an opportunity to build a better relationship than you've ever had. Yeah. yeah. So you use it. We're only not. I'll, I'll fix it. Can I get you another nachos for you? Yes, they want another okay. Give me about two, two minutes, and I'll make it myself, OK? It was 25 before, so I'm making two left good. I'm going to make it myself for you, just to make Someone it happen. Someone get a phone out. Someone get a phone out. Uh, OK, take it easy. I'll get it for you. His attitude is body language. I'll get it as fast as I can. This is not a guy who's good at controlling his temper. Jeez. Oh. Hey, make the nachos correct. The same people that start bashing me on social media, yeah. they're here and just they're trying to be a dick. I need a nachos. You guys have one minute. I would serve burnt food if my boss talks to me it. like that. You're here making the food. I'm the one who gets yelled at. I made it oh myself. My Those Good. are beautiful. Wow. So. Drinks, your drinks are bad. No, their drinks are not bad. No. So everything is bad for you. Yeah. Get the f out. Leave. You know, he is disrespecting his own customers. Because I'm going in. Is there any plate that came out on this table that you said, wow, this is good, try this? You've done everything wrong. It's frustrating. Are you frustrated? Yes. I feel from the get-go, I was set up for failure from the minute that I walked in. <laughs> All right. Whatever, John. You understand the depth of your failure. I go on social media, and I watch you call customers the C word online, right? She's here. You had a bad experience in this bar, correct? Well, who let you guys in? You guys are the one who started this thing. Did he not call you the C word on social media? I was told you care, I don't see it. I was told you were respectful, I don't see it. John, cut the bull crap, man. Come on. I see a loser. Man, you need to stop with this insulting. Was this insulting to put in front of customers? Is that an insult to her? Is this an insult to her? It is. I'm insulting you because you insulted them. Not one customer looked at you and said, good job tonight. I loved your business. Raise your hand if this place sucks. Raise your hand if you'll never come back. Max has got patience. Good job, buddy. You are a failure. Apologize to every guest, and then I'll come back tomorrow. Today. Have a nice day. OK. Come over here and apologize. Whatever. No, come over here and apologize. Get the out. So one of the problems with this bar is that Jason gives the place away. What? So if you come in, being a pretty girl, he'll give you a bottle. So what I did tonight for Recon is I sent girls in. I want to see if those girls can get Jason to keep giving them stuff, bottles, drinks, whatever they can get. Welcome. Thank you for coming out tonight. <laughs> this is Olivia. She'll be your waitress tonight. How are you? There's Olivia, who just does bottle service. 
You guys can take a seat. That's bottle service back there. No customers, of course. I've been into nightclubs in prominent cities, and you expect sophistication, certain levels of upholstery. Look at it. It's a piece of garbage, Mia. No. What's up, guys? You guys popping the bottle or you? Yeah. yeah. Right. You need a drink with us? May as well, right? <laughs> I'll tell uh, Olivia I'll take care of it. It's on me tonight, guys. Yeah. Ooh. There it is. <laughs> sure right. That's complete rookie stuff that he's doing. More shots! Ooh. More shots on Jason! Yeah. <laughs> Keep coming. Working on it, Jason. You know, bring another bottle, too. Does that make sense for business? <laughs> At this point, it doesn't matter what business. It's about having fun. True. You and I know that bottle cost about 80 bucks. Mm -hmm. They sell it for $400, and he just gave them a second one. How much taking care of are we doing? It's not really your uh, problem right now. If I'm bringing it out, it's my problem. Just get over it, right? This is completely social. It's not a business at all. No. Well, I think everyone needs a double. And another bottle. Why don't you double up on the bottles? We can take another bottle. Thanks, what? Jason. Less, Thank you. Less talky, more poppy. You heard the bottle. Pop bottles. Cheers. And this is all on daddy's dime. All on daddy's dime. Have you offered to see if maybe they'll buy it? I have not. Look at Scott. This man has to say to himself, what am I doing here? Bring it out of the bottle, please. Jason's giving away another bottle. I don't know what to do. I'm handcuffed. We're not going to survive like this. Jason, are we getting another bottle? Hey, someone's got to keep the party going, right? This guy has given away four bottles. Dude, I'll be, I'll be your bottle service girl tonight. OK? You can give me that. Maybe you can go in the office and do work for once. I'm the only one keeping the party going, so. Yeah, by giving out free bottles. Hey, whatever keeps the people here. Hey, keep that attitude up. You're not going to work here very longer. Service oh. goes. Friends, Would you like me to pour your shots? I'd love it. If Jason pops off at me one more time, I swear to God, I'm going to slam him into the floor. Like, I'm not I'm dealing with it anymore. No, I understand. It's another night of work at Fort One, making no money, and it's all because of Jason. What's up, Tutorino? You want to make money? May as well, right? Because you and gave three girls four bottles of liquor, right? Yes, sir. What did you get for that money? I got people in seats. People in seats. Is this about you being a big shot at her expense? Because as you're having fun, she made $8 and she made nothing. It's harsh reality. Harsh reality. You don't give a f You haven't grown up yet. And your actions hurt people. I never really thought of it that way. So you're a complete moron. Is that what you're telling me? Is it with language, please? Really? I wouldn't say I'm a moron. I'm just trying to get customers in here. They're already here. You're stressing me out. You want to burn your father's money. God bless you. But you're damn. Honestly. Look at this place. This is your name. This is her future. If you don't come through for them, I will make you miserable because she's going to go home and be miserable tonight when she says no to her eight-year-old because of you. Someone needs to throw away your money like you threw away theirs. Dude, you are the worst, man. Really? Look at this. Look at this big piece of Everybody here now knows how irresponsible you are. So clean that up, then go home tonight and look in the mirror and stare in your own eyes and realize the moron that you are. Don't even talk to him. He's not worth your time, idiot. I normally deal with struggling owners who are in trouble, not rich kids who don't care. Owning a business is a responsibility to your employees, to your community, and to yourself. Tomorrow, Jason's gonna learn that. How much are you losing a month now? 8,000 a month. And how much money do we have before you run out? We're probably not gonna get through summer. In spite of all of that, you're expecting to be deployed in the next six months or so? Yes, sir. And if this bar isn't fixed when you're deployed, what happens while you're gone? There will be no brick house bar. Why do you think that's happening? Uh, waste a lot of stuff. Inconsistency. So, so there's no systems, no procedures, no what to order, what to make, how much to order, how much to make. Raise your hand. How often do you run out of stuff? A lot? All the time. How many times do customers ask for things that we don't have? A lot? Every day. How many times have you asked him for something that he hasn't got? All the time. Does he come in here and help you sell when we're busy? 
What has John done in the past week to make this place better? He tells he tells us thank you a lot. You're screwing them. I, I feel guilty about that every day. They and, go uh, home and have no money to survive. This is America. You can't do that. This is what you're fighting to prevent. That's why you fight. Read it. There's clearly tension. What happened last night? He insulted me, degraded my character. Did you break your heart when you did yeah. that? Yeah. Does upsetting her in the middle of a shift when she's working with customers in your environment serve you well? Is that your game? Because I'm guessing there's a lot of men that come in there with girlfriends and wives that might not like that. So your actions are contrary to the respect of your own people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? No. This bar could make money, couldn't it? It's 35,000 military personnel in this town. 72% of them are single. Wow. This is a gold mine for bars, but not for you, because you're hiding and sneaking to get the next drink. And after you've had two or three of them, you're going to degrade her. Bull <laughs> Bull <laughs> Look at her face. She's hurting, man. These are human lives. Imagine if she was laying in a battlefield, you'd rescue her. Why the hell don't you rescue them now? No, oh, that's where I'll stop, John. Why do you let them feel this way? That's bull Why don't you feel responsible? I do. You're full of Because what I saw last night was not responsibility. And when he's sober, he's not much more active in this business, is he? So if you want me to fight for you, you better fight for yourself, man. You gotta change. You can't be a drunken fool in this place anymore. You cannot degrade your staff. She should never be crying like that. There should be a place of safety, a place of respect. You got to be the man that we all know you are. You got to start acting like it, period. We believe in you. Now you need to start acting like it. So you want to be insignificant, or you want to be a hero? I want to be a hero. The worst enemy of the business is, in fact, the existing customers in that case. And they don't want new customers coming in, because you take up their space and you invade upon their scene. Hey, guys, what can I grab y'all? Can you go in just a couple minutes? Yeah, uh, we don't actually have food right now. So can you make a Bahama Mama? Uh, I don't know what a Bahama Mama is. I'll be honest with you, I'm sorry about the menu that I don't know it, but I can do anything else you want me to do. You just told your guests you don't know the menu? Uh, I'll just do the cherry lime soda. Sure. Uh, hey, how do I make the cherry lemonade? Cherry lemonade? Yeah, I don't so know cherry Jacob. lime. Cherry lemonade soda or cherry lemon soda? Yes, Mr. Jacob. Cool. Jacob put it on there, I, I don't know. He put him on there a couple weeks ago. I don't know what what any of that is. Excuse me? The owner doesn't know how to make the drinks. He doesn't give it. Cherry lemonade. Cherry lemonade. I don't know what's on that that menu Jake put on there. I don't know. I don't know what the it is. I have no idea what I'm making right now. Go tell her. She asked me. I don't. I don't know. Figure it out. Look at this pork. Oh my! She's like a mess. Half of that pint is liquor. That's like a pitcher. That is a almost a full pint of liquor. Way too strong, and I feel like a face. Face? Who is this? I have two of the cherry lemonades. It's very hard. Do you not want me to make them? I don't give a what you do. Hey, 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 bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Look at him. Is he drunk? Stop. Did this guy just open this bar and hire all his friends? It, that's what it looks like. What's that? It's a cherry limeade. It's cool. Who's it for? I don't know. I already made the cherry lemon soda shot or drinks for two people. Yeah. Well, I thought you said you need cherry limeade. Oh, boy, we got a band tuning up here. So it's all exploded. Him, good job tonight. Everything's running flawlessly. Cocktails are great. Band packed the room. Did you say any signs in front of this bar that says there's a band like this playing tonight? No. You had lights on the band and you produced it properly. This isn't terrible. But the owner pays no attention to the band when it's on stage, pays no attention to customers when they come in. What exactly does this guy pay attention to? Randy does not like Oh, you made a good drink. I'll be honest with you guys, I have no idea what's going on right now. Watch this. Yeah, nothing? I'm trying to think of something, but coming up with nothing. That's the high. Oh, you mother Stop it. Don't punch me anymore. Yeah, I swear. Ah, stop it, stop it. Oh, you're burning my arm. Oh, you mother There's people here. Stop.
up. Do something. I'm not getting in between it. I told you guys a hundred times. You want to pull my hair again? Uh -huh. Pull my hair, go ahead. He's instigating. Oh, They're like teenagers. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> oh my there god. You go. There you go. Look at this freaking place. Now, you get down there, hit you. Have you ever seen anything like that before? I've never seen anything like this. I'm gonna you up. He degrades his manager, fights with his staff. You should have left when you could. You I'm going in there. This is too degrading to watch. You like degrading him, don't you? Me? Yeah, because you're a big shock. You can make him lay down on the floor, and you enjoy degrading him in front of everyone. Who here thought he was a jerk for doing that to him? So you went up to him, started it, and then degraded him. Now I degraded you. How do you like it? Tell him he's an ass. You're a ass. You want me to fix your ass and your bar? Lay down on the floor like he did. Go ahead. Do it, ass. Put me on the floor. This is getting awkward. Lay down on the floor. I'm not getting on the floor. Then I'm not rescuing your bar. to be a degraded piece of Get out of here now so there's no fights. Go home. If you humble up, I'll help you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. He just walks out with garbage in his hand. Let's see if he uh, washes those hands when he comes in. OK. He didn't wash his hands, John. No. He walked outside with a garbage can, came, came in. Came back in, never washed his hands. Walked right by the sink. Oh, what? Changing a paper towel. Now he's going in a bathroom. We have now cross-contaminated to the bathroom. So he's out back now having a cigarette, wiping his sweat on himself. You're a hospitality professional. You put on a clean shirt when you come to work, don't you? Absolutely. He's wearing a dirty T-shirt. He's unshaven, sweaty as hell. When a person comes in and finds you unclean and unpresentable, their first impression is that everything else is going to fall in line. Right behind the bar, I want to see if he washes his hands. He didn't wash his hands. And the transfer continued. Oh, my god. He might as well just wipe his ass on everything in that place. Right to the ice scoop. So now everything going forward is not contaminated. Right. And bar, you can see he's got some motions, right? Oh, I take that back. Oh, look at this guy. You guys got me too. We well. know what's going on. We got you. We got you. Bottoms up. He's been given every opportunity in the world, and this guy's not doing a damn thing about it. Oh no, he is. He's having a drink. Can we get some food, please? Um, in the Sloppy Joes, I make from scratch. The Sloppy Joes are killer. Yeah? Two Sloppy Joes? Yeah. Go. So this guy is a complete rookie. Oh, look at this freaking place. What is that, guys? That is a foreign substance. Mystery meat? That is something that would not get within a foot of my mouth. Do you right. see the layer of fat. whatever that is? It's a layer of fat that comes to the top. Meaning that container hasn't been changed in days. And every day at the end of the shift, he's supposed to transfer one container into the other. What the hell is he doing here? Oh. He is wearing gloves, so I'll give him that. OK, there we have a little moisture. I love water in my meat. In the microwave? And who cares if the buns are just sitting on the stainless steel countertop, you know? I'm sure uh, it's not dirty. Oh, uh, nuking the bun. Or nothing. Maybe wearing gloves, but he's touching everything that he can possibly touch. Oh, my god. He's sweating on everything. Look at the grease running out the back of the vents. Look how delicious that looks. Holy I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. I wouldn't serve this food to a freaking inmate. You notice the gloves, guys? You see any gloves anywhere? Poor gloves. gloves. So the gloves disappeared somewhere. He never washed his hands, but he removed the gloves. It's a big health hazard. Oh, man. This is illegal as hell. And the kind guys. We can't let this food go out of the kitchen, and we can't let these drinks go out of the bar. No. OK, let's go in. Let's shut it down. Let me let you know let's something get, right let's now. Get a shot. I've been watching you. You smoked the cigarette. You took out the trash. You didn't wash your damn hands. Right away. Did I wear the gloves? You carried out garbage. You never washed your hands. And you touched food. Right? And you're gonna make people sick like that, bro. Right? You're gonna make people what do you sick. Want to do? What do you want to what do? Damn hair! Your kitchen is closed down. Sean, what about here? I don't even know where to start. So guys, that's your rinse water. That's, that's what rinse he's water. rinsing your drinks in. Hey, let's. This is collect what? Bottle caps. How many 
bottle beers have you sold tonight? I don't know. Guess. Give me a number. 10, 20, 20. What's that? Two, three weeks worth? You know what this festers? Fruit flies. I know about responsible service. You're going to tell me you don't have fruit flies? Look at this. You want those in your tank? That in the liquor? We have sweat in the food with trash, fruit flies in your bar. Pam, I want you to understand why I'm angry. You are supporting his rent while he comes here, gets drunk. I didn't know better. I think but none of us He knows how did. to take your money, but he doesn't know how to tell you the truth, does he? No. Does your husband treat your staff well? I, I don't think so. His negativity, you know, it's infectious. How long is this? Almost two years. So. Good? It's basically Did his attitude cause the failure, or did the failure cause his attitude? When we first opened, he was positive. He used to be happy and fun and enjoy life, and now he just seems miserable all the time. I think he's just set himself up in his mind that there's no way out. Hey, you girl started off with something to drink? He rang everything, and maybe I wouldn't be in this situation right now, dude. OK. The plug well, Obviously, something's going on. Travis, he gives stuff away? He forgets. You ladies want a shot? Yeah, yeah. Hey, oi! Okay. So was he a drinker when you guys? I mean, he would drink, but never like this. Come yeah, on. Let's do it. All right, Sam. Yeah. Have an owner, your husband, who's sitting at the bar getting drunk. He hasn't been in the kitchen in a while. He hasn't looked at any tables. He doesn't know if things are coming out right. This is him, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, you're, uh, what, Puerto Rican? She's Puerto Rican. I'm Cuban. Right. Let's play the game real quick. So what's her name? J J J Janice. Jackie? That's a Mexican name. I thought she was. You said you were both Mexican. You said you were both Mexican. How old are you? What are you, like 25? Yes, we're going with that. 25. She's 30, actually. No, I'm 25. No, I should have gasped by the lines by your eyes. Excuse It's bad. Bad. You don't tell somebody that. Well, I didn't mean to. I'm, I'm a little drunk. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Do that. I'm sorry. Some of the things he said were was not okay. Definitely feel disrespected. Can I make it up? I'm like buying you guys a shot, like one more shot. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Okay. Now, if you came out with a friend, would you want him sitting next to you doing this? Absolutely not. In fact, I've left places because of that. Of course you have. All women have. I need a lime. You need a lime? Yeah. Do you need like a diaper as well? Or light it, light. Just, just, yeah. Come on. What? That was good, dude. So now he's established himself as the owner. He's established himself as a big shot. He's demeaned everybody around him. So did you guys his emails? Is this the man you married? No. No. Not at all. So what would be happening if I wasn't here? We'd go out of business for sure. We would lose our house. Um, parents would lose a huge chunk of their retirement money. How old are your kids? Two and four. He pays us all this lip service about how hard he's working to help and turn this place around, and this is what he's doing. You're acting like a straight idiot. Right now. You're just acting just... like you normally act, which yeah. Like yeah, okay, I'm working. Yeah, dude. Yeah, he's Shut working. Shut up. Don't act like you do me a Shut favor. Shut up. You're done. I know. You're just done. Nope. There. Seriously, tr Tronis. Tronis. Nope. Hey, oi, oi, dickhead. You mother. Give me a shot. Stop now. Stop, dude. Stop. Shut up. Are we going? Can we chill out now? At least Travis cut him off. Get out of here. Recommit to this business and recommit to our family. We have put everything on the line. We have put our family on the line. We have put your parents on the line. You need no. No, let me just finish that. Finish that, and this is just over. Just give it to me. You've been embarrassing her all night, leaning in on these girls. And you had the audacity, sitting on your ass drunk, to actually blame your failure on her? It's been tough, John. Oh, sure, I know. You're working so hard tonight. How many customers have you checked their food? I don't know. How many people did you make sure he rang up? You have two children at home and a wife. You know you're a drunk, right? Yeah. You know it. I do. You know you're not working. So, folks, now you know why I'm here. 
It's not because of a failing bar. It's because of a failing person. I think a man should earn the right to come home every day. You should sleep in your bar tonight. Let's go. Let's just get out of here. Come here, beer, brother William. Whatever, sweetheart. Wow, another one. If he would put his eyes on that cash register as much as he would put it on beer, there's potential to make money here. Right? There's people here, but you got to charge people for drinks. Desi Romano's home with the first ones free. <laughs> yeah, he was getting smashed. <laughs> I can't even imagine how much that tab is of just free drinks tonight. I said I needed a shot. No, that's not what I'm having. You said a Vegas bomb. That's not it. It is it. Well, you made it wrong. You didn't make it right. It is right. He doesn't know when to stop himself. Dad, you what, baby? Do another shot? I don't like you. OK, well, you're making that clear. Well, you remember? Really? Just calm it down. Uh, shut up, uh, shut yeah. up. OK. She is trying to calm him down, stop him. I'm the boy, so nobody give him a shot. Okay. What the hell? No, thank you. No more drinking. But Debbie is not listening. Did I get what I ordered? What did you order for me? I would like a little shot, and I would like a beer. As the manager, I asked him not to serve you anymore. So imagine being in Lindsay's shoes. Her dad has a medical issue. He's sitting here drinking, partying. This ain't it, but I'm drinking. Uh, please, Dan. So if he continues to drink this way and continues to be uncontrolled, this poor man will probably die. That's what we have to prevent. Manda! Yes. You really can't give him another shot. Oh, um, hey. OK, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm not the boss no more? You think you've had enough? You think oh. I've had enough? Okay. I want one more. Oh, no. Manda, you're done well, you if you don't fix the oh. shot. What do I want to do? Wait, wait, All right, Des. All right. I just want that one more. There you go. There you go. OK. Another drink. No, he's not. That's just not drinking anymore. One more time. Quick. Quick, 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 quick. Behind you. Behind you. Right? Behind you. What you want? Behind you. He's got your back. Very observant guy, huh? Speechless? I have nothing to say, dude. Not the Tom or John. Wow. No. I'm so <laughs> You're what? <laughs> nothing. You've been in this business 25 years, and this is what you got to show for it? Really? Not tonight. Really? What do you tonight? Mean tonight, really. really? I, uh, You're losing money tonight. Isn't tonight a good night to fix it? Where's your daughter? Lindsay, can we talk for a minute? Come over, Desi. Can I get a beer? Come on, buddy. I, I want to. Beer. Dad, Dad, OK, when? I said no more. Please, please, Desi, please. Put uh, the freaking beer down. Put the beer down. Takes another drink. Is the next beer more important to him than making money? No, sir. Are we making money? Well, what are you well, doing right here? Is he in debt? Yes. How much? A little bit. Well, we don't little know. A little bit. He doesn't know. And does he know how much what money he's? I'm you? talking, yeah. listen. Does he know how much money he's losing? No, he doesn't, does he? Does he have a retirement? Why tonight? Because I'm here tonight. That's why. I would like him to act like an owner and you to act like a manager. Get the bar empty, get your staff together, and let's have a little meaning. I'm not alone tonight. I'm going to save your ass yeah. starting tonight. Yeah. Isn't that better than starting tomorrow? Not tonight. Yes, yes, yes. Tomorrow, yes. not tonight. There is no tomorrow if you don't do it tonight. Stand with me toe to toe and I'll save your ass. OK? Please, please. please. Why tonight? Why tonight? I'll do it tomorrow. Listen, we have to say okay. I'm going to walk out of here now. Oh. He's going to do it. No, 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 no. no. What the f is it? He's There's only he's one dead. person in this bar please who can tell me to stay, and that's you, Desi. Please, we Bye. want you to stay. We want you to stay. Yes, three, you want to stay. Two, yes, we have to do that. If you agree do with I me. Do I leave or not? Yes. Wait a minute. Yes. One minute. One minute, John. One minute. Oh. minute. You caught me on surprise. Ask her if she knows Terry, the owner. Who owns this place? Oh, is this idiot? Why would you label this man as what you just said? He's like goofy. Ask her if anybody plays pool for money. So this looks like a serious like pool operation here. Yeah. Do they play for like money or? Yeah, sometimes. But it's Lee. This is one of the owners, Terry. This is the owner, Terry. Hi, Terry. We're just talking pool. They're telling me that this is the place to play pool at. Yeah. So you can make a few bucks here. Not bad, buddy. So you make a few bucks here and there. Not bad. I have going, yeah. You like a nice little side income, man. 
Sometimes, yeah. That's yeah, so if you can play a game with them. How good are you? There's pool players, and there's pool players, and there's Terry Brown. Can you take a young buck from New York? Could you uh, take a, an old book from Ireland? <laughs> I got 100 that says I can. I'll tell you what, what? money talks. I got 100 bucks that says I could. You might be taking that bet. All right, I'm going to eat some fried food, and then I'll come get you. We'll play. Fair okay. enough. I got 20 on that bet, too. Is that supposed to f money back? Me? No, it's supposed to get you to run to the table as we speak. I want to I'm not running money for no That's how Terry's attitude turns these customers mm -hmm. off. Not only does he piss you off, he takes your money, too. There you go. 100. All right, let's go. Be professional. And the game begins. So I'm not going to let them play this game. I just wanted to establish what this guy would do. Now I'm not going to let it happen, because I won't be a part of gambling in this bar. How many people have you taken money from? You're running a gambling operation or a bar. Which a is bar? It? Stop the game. Give him his money back. Okay. And is there anybody else who lost money to the asshole tonight? I did. You guys all lost money to him tonight. He's paying every one of you back right now. Yeah! Give them their money. Let's go. You can go f yourself. Oh! No. You're in the bar business. You're not a pool hustler. That's illegal, isn't it? Yeah! Pay them all back now. Yeah! Line up. Who has money coming? What did you put on? 20. Pay him back. Let's go. Hell yeah. You just gave him his 20, didn't God. you? You knew how to count pretty well I when did, you were getting yeah. it, didn't you? Yeah, I did. But you don't count yeah. so good when you're giving it back, do you? Come on! That's what I have left, exactly. so that's what was Gambling. So now you're gonna give her, now you're gonna give him back some of her money, aren't you? You see, Big Shot Terry, they're in debt $300,000. He's losing $2,000 a month, and now he's gonna give your bar money back to them, isn't he? Yes. So here's the deal. You want me to help your bar so you don't lose money anymore? Yes, I do. Would you like me to help you get your 300000 back? I certainly would. Would you like me to make you perceive as less of an asshole? I tell you here and now, John, there's not one that ever had the balls to come and say it to me face. I did. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.